Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Let Them Eat Shrimp, which is a, I guess you'd call it an abstract, or a kind of abstract game, very much a gateway family style game, all about fish trying to uh, grow more fish so you can score lots of points while avoiding getting eaten by sharks. And, you know, it's very much a fish-eat-fish -fish world out here. And uh, I'm going to be doing a two-player run through a day over here. I am. Over here is where Jen is. And now at the beginning of the game, each of us has three fish eggs and one of each of the four fish tiles. There's a six-sider yellow one, the, uh, the three-sider green one, there's a red one, and a blue one. We each get one of each of these. We also have three fish eggs. Now, these three fish eggs are kind of like our extra lives. Because if we ever get in a situation where a shark wants to eat a particular type of one of our fish and we don't have it... Like like say a shark wants to eat one of my green fish and I'm, I'm out of them, then I lose a fish egg instead. And if I run out of fish eggs, I lose the game. So that's one way the game can be over if all but one player have lost all their fish eggs. But really, that's not going to be too terribly likely. The more likely way the game is going to end is when this board gets filled up and there's really no more room. There's either no more room for any more of these big uh, yellow tiles or there are literally no more fish eggs on the board. One of those three ways is the way the game will end. And now at the end of the game, points are scored based on sets. You're trying to collect sets, as you can see, you know, one of each of the four types is worth five points. A set of only two is worth one point. Shrimp, because we do want to let them eat shrimp, are basically just worth two points no matter how many you have. And if you have any eggs left over at the end, they're wild so they can help you make these sets. So that's the big picture. That's what we're shooting for. Let's go on ahead and start playing. And I will be the first player. And now on your turn... Oh, I should say one more thing before I start. This game has at least a half dozen different ways you can um, play the game. You know, for starters, I'm playing as a two-player game here, so I've only got these two tiles. But if you're playing with more players, you uh, have a third tile that, you know, makes the board bigger. Also, these tiles have an easy side where you can see there's only one, two, three, four sharks and a hard side where it's like half of the tiles are sharks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen sharks! And so you can certainly ratchet up the difficulty level if you want to play on these tougher sides. And then you're in a, quite a bit more danger of running out of fish eggs. But if you want to just play it a little bit easier, there aren't too terribly many sharks. There's a lot more good and a lot less bad. So that's another way you can mix the game up as well by flipping the different sides of the board. Now there's also an advanced version of the game where everybody has their own player board, and it pretty significantly changes the way the game is going to be played. Now, in this run-through right now, I'm just going to play through the basic rules, the simplest way you can play the game. Definitely the way you would play the game if you're playing with children, uh, as an example, or you know newbies, because it's, it's really simple, really streamlined. And in, the, if the, in my extended run-through, this is the basic run-through, in the extended run-through, I'll demonstrate how the advanced version of the game works, which becomes much more gamery, has a lot more stuff to worry about. But let's get going. All right, so I am the first player. And on your turn, it's really simple. All you're going to do is take one of your fish tiles from you know, your, your little secret hidden screen and play it somewhere on the board. But before the game starts, I have to seed the board for every one of the tiles. Because remember, with, uh, with more players, we'd have a third tile. I take one of these little um, green fish and I drop it randomly somewhere on the tile. All righty, so... Hey, that shark's being covered up by that fish, and this fish just covered up that shrimp. All right, so those two tiles I just dropped become the, uh, the seed points. Every tile that everybody has plays from now on has to be touching an existing tile. So I'm going to take one of these four tiles, and I'm going to play it to the board. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the board a little better. So you can see I can play off of that spot or that spot over there. And I've got my four tiles now, which one am I going to play? Well, the bigger the tile I play, the more stuff I could gobble up because I want to cover up all these different various colored eggs because those will convert into new fish. And remember, we're trying to capture fish as much as possible. So, I think for starters, I will go on ahead and get out my big boy. Or do I want to? Let's see. So, I got to be over by this one or by this one. Let's see, if I use this big one, if I say if I put it right here, that would be kind of... Oh, I'd get a shrimp, and I'd get a starfish. And starfish are, are a cool special thing. When you do a starfish, you get to roll the die and find out what you're going to get. But the other problem is, I'd be covering up a portion of this shark, which means that shark would... I'd also have to roll the die to find out if the shark wants to eat some of my fish. So I want to put it there. But you know what? Over here, if I say, put this down, my big one, like that, I am covering... Oops. I am covering up 
a red and a green. So by doing this, I have lost one tile, but I have gained a red tile and a green tile. So I basically made a profit. I gave up one, I got two. That was a pretty good start move. And now it's Jen's turn. And so she's starting out with the, you know, with the same four basics and she's got to put something someplace. And now the only, uh, there's the, the rule about expanding is, you know, when you want to put a tile down, you have, it has to align next one. So like Jen could go like this with her big tile and get two things. Now she'd like to put it right here and get three things, a red, a shrimp, and a starfish, but she can't do that because this does not align. So, but she could go like this. Oh, look at that, Jen, I have just set her up. She gets three things, a yellow, a blue, and a starfish. So she's gonna take her yellow. So she paid a yellow and she got a yellow right back and she got a blue. And now more importantly, she got the starfish. And now that means we're gonna, she gets to roll the starfish die. And there are several different things that could happen. You could roll, if she rolls a blue, she'll get another blue fish. If she should get another red fish or a green fish or a yellow fish. Um, if she rolls the starfish, she can take any fish she wants. And that's valuable because remember, she's trying to collect sets so she can pick whatever she wants. Um, but if she gets the shark, well, not too bad. Basically, she gets nothing. So as long as she rolls anything other than the shark, you know, chomp, chomp, she'll be doing okay. So let's see what she gets. And she got a starfish. That means she can take anything she wants. And now, considering the fact that right now, this is what she's got, you know, two blues, a yellow, a red, and a green. I think she'll, since you can take anything you want, she'll take another yellow. And so now she's got a set of two, plus these uh, yellows are the biggest ones, so they're the ones that let you grab the most stuff. So she's already, you know, starting to get a nice set. She's got two of these, two of these, she gets two of these. She has two full sets. That's 20 points right there. All right, so anyway, so that was Jen's turn. That was a very nice turn. And now it is my turn. And where am I going to go? Now, I don't have any more bigs. I've got these two reds, and I've got a blue, and I've got a couple of greens. So, what do I want to do? Well, I'll probably want to use one of these reds. That's my biggest thing. I see, and I say I could come over here. That would get me a blue and a shrimp. I could come over here. That would get me a red and a green. Oops, that got bumped. I could come over here, that would get me two yellows. Remember, the yellows are the biggest one? That looks pretty good. I could come over here, and I could just get two shrimp. Um, because again, every shrimp you have is worth two points. But I think I want to get some more big ones. I'm going to come over here. And so, that got me two yellows. The big, super powerful yellow tile. So that was my turn. And now it's Jen's turn again. And so looking around, now she's still got some yellows. Is there a good place to put a yellow that would score her a bunch of stuff? Well, that would get her two things, but she could get those two things with a red, which, um, so, you know, or alternatively, she could get, you know, a green and red, or she could get a red and a shrimp. She could get two shrimp over here, and, um, you know, or she could get a starfish and a blue over there. I don't see any triples she can do, so she'll just come like this and get a red and a green. So a red and a green. Okay. And then back to me, back to my turn. And let's see, so Jen has sent me up, I could use the yellow I just got and grab a blue and a shrimp. Um, but you know what, I could, I could grab a blue and a shrimp using this piece right here. Ah, if I were just one more over and I could go like this, I could get a starfish and a blue and a shrimp, but I can't do that, that's not legal. And if I put, you know, like this blue, this green here to get nothing, then somebody else will benefit off of that. So, what do I want to grab? What do I want to grab? You know what, maybe I'll just come over here and I'll just, I'll just eat some shrimp. Let them eat shrimp. I just grabbed two shrimp. That's four guaranteed points. I don't have to worry about set collection when I'm grabbing shrimp. Although, that means grabbing shrimp is great because they're just guaranteed you know, points. You don't have to worry about the set collection element. But, I just gave up one of my fish. And remember, if I run out of fish and a shark wants to eat, I would end up losing some of my fish eggs instead. So now it is Jen's turn again. Let's see here. And I think, hmm. So she has a big, she has a couple of big ones. She doesn't want to use them here or here because, you know, I mean, using it, she'd like to get a return of three. Putting this down basically swaps a yellow for a red and gets her a shrimp. It's not bad, I suppose. Or, you know, swap a yellow for a blue and get a shrimp. 
And you know, early on, things are pretty easy going because um, you know, we're not really running into sharks. But as we keep on expanding, we will gobble up more of the shark-free spaces and we'll be forced to have to lose fish when we go for um, something and end up getting snacked by a shark. Let's see here. What does Jen want to do? You know, I think Jen's just going to take it easy. She's going to take one of her little greens. She's going to put it down there, and basically she's swapping, she's giving up this green, and she's getting herself a blue. For, again, for the purposes of set collection. And, you know, she's upgraded, so now, because that blue can cover more space than that green did. Okay. And the important thing is, she didn't necessarily set me up. Oh, but, um, oh, let's see. Actually, no, she's not. Well, I will worry about that in a second. Now, where am I going to go? All right, I am out of reds. I've got my two big... I could just put my guy here and swap a red. I have no reds at the moment, so yeah, I'll do that. I'll get a shrimp and I'll get a red. So I got a red back and I got a shrimp. And now, Jen, I can't believe I missed this before. I couldn't do anything about it. I just noticed this space right here is awesome for a red, but my problem was um, I was out of reds. So I went over there and I collected a red. But now, Jen, who has a red, she spots it. She will get, give up the red and get a red back and a green. So that was a very good return. So you know, on the simplest level, I mean, the, the game is, is pretty straightforward. You're just looking to try and do simple you know, kind of pattern recognition, find the best spots on the board you can grab, avoid the sharks. You know, Jen just barely avoided getting eaten by sharks there. Now, when you do, uh, sooner or later, we're going to run out of good spots, and we will have to start occupying, you know, basically to, you know, to grab two things, I might end up having to also touch a shark. When you roll for the shark, you roll the die, and depending on which side you get, a shark wants to eat one of your yellows, one of your reds, one of your blues, or one of your greens. And at that point, you have to give one up. You have to discard one. And if you can't, that's when you start giving up your fish eggs. Now, on the flip side with the shark, if you roll the starfish, nothing happens. So you basically dodge the shark. And if you um, roll the shark, it's, it's kind of a good thing because you can give up anything you want. So if you have duplicates of something, you might want to give up one of your duplicates. So, I mean, you know, the worst thing could be that you might roll a red and you have no reds, and then you have to give up one of your fish eggs, and that could be really bad. But that's it. That's the core game. Very, very simple. You could play it, you know, with you know people, with folks of any age. You could play it to board game newbies. It's an excellent, excellent, super light gateway game. Very satisfying. Very fast playing. Now, like I said, things get more interesting when you don't play on the nice sides, but you play on the mean sides. Because as you can imagine. There's a lot of sharks out there, and you will be having to roll the die for sharks a lot more often. It's just unavoidable because there's so many. But, oh, and there's also other stuff you can do. There is an expansion that in addition to having four of the basic fish tiles, we also get the starting squid tiles as well. And there's you know, one of each of the squid sizes. And now the interesting thing is if you have these, you can play these squid. And now they can just, um, you know, you, you put a squid down, it can just capture stuff. But this would be, uh, let's see, what's an interesting spot? Putting a squid down here would be pretty cool. Because, hey, I'd get a red, I'd get a starfish, and squid are, can hunt the sharks. Be, uh, because basically whenever you have a squid either partially or completely cover a shark, you get shark points, which are worth points at the end of the game. Now, the first players that try to eat or you know, capture sharks with their squids, they just get one point. But once the ones run out, then you get into the twos, then you get into the threes. So there's almost this game of chicken. Nobody wants to be the first player to use their squids because you don't get as many points. You want to use your squids later. But um, you know, you might get yourself. Uh, but you know, still, points are points. If nobody ever uses the squids, well, then squids can be worth bonus points at the end of the game too. So that's a really, really cool addition. But and you know, and then there's other ways you can play too. You can give yourself. You, know, you can switch the board. You can give yourself more. Um, fish eggs. There's uh, several other different types of variants. But the more interesting thing is playing the advanced game when players have these boards. Now, if you'd like to know how this works, you can hit the button that's on screen or follow the show notes and go to the extended playthrough where I will demonstrate how the advanced game works. Or you can hit the other button and go straight to final thoughts. Your choice in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.